All right, guys, so you guys are gonna learn this system, which is the concrete repair system. We're gonna do this, we'll be doing this one a little bit different than, than what we showed, just because Brian has the equipment to do a little more extensive uh, prep job. But so many guys leave so much money on the table by not offering this system. Every concrete in every city has thousands and thousands and thousands of square feet that are spalling. And what spalling is, is when the cream layer starts to pop off. Typically you see it more in uh, colder climates where they're getting winters, freezing weather. But you'll see this everywhere just because a lot of guys now are pouring mud too wet, makes the concrete weak on the surface, or they're adding a lot of water when they finish it. And that cream layer becomes really brittle and weak and it just starts to pop off and flake off. And so, you know, if we drove around this neighborhood, we'd probably see, you know, every other house would probably have some type of spalling on it. And so we have a system and a process to make it look brand new. And so instead of doing our, you know, concrete repair system, which is basically a squeegee finish or a broom finish. And if you guys are ever brooming overlays, they are a little bit more time consuming. They make more of a mess. They're more of a hassle. And so we like to either leave it a squeegee finish or do our texture deck system over. And so that's what Brian's, Brian sold them on is basically doing our texture deck system on this driveway once it's prepped and, and, and filled and everything addressed where the coating or the concrete's failing. Tomorrow, probably afternoon, we'll throw down, after lunch, we'll throw down the first coat and, and it's gonna look like a new pad with just one coat. And then the next day, shooting on the texture coat, te texture deck system. Um, yeah, it's gonna look good. So we're gonna head out, we'll be back tomorrow. They'll save some of this stuff so we can show you guys the process of it. But it's all all simple. It's just, some takes a little time, but we're all, what, how many hours do you think you got on this so far? We got like a full day today. Well, we got here like, started like 10 probably. I'd say yesterday was a half a day by the time we got here and got going. I mean, either way, we should be done by Thursday, started on a Monday. We're not even using full days, like say tomorrow. a day and a half in it so far. Yeah, about a day and a half. It's almost all all prepped, out to go. Not gonna take long to, to grind these, saw cut them, get those filled. Pressure washing will be relatively quick with the surface cleaner, so it's not a lot of time. And again, there's really good money in these, these type of projects and they're all over the place. Exterior concrete either needs coated, enhanced or repaired. So mixing, uh, notice we got a pop-up tent, it's sunny out. It is 68 degrees. It's not like, it's not hot, hot, but it is, the sun is out on us. So it is, it is, it is gonna affect the product, especially if we were, if we left our containers and buckets and, and bags out in the sun, maybe we put them in the yard 
and they were sitting out in the yard for four hours while we were prepping and getting everything dialed, that's gonna heat that product up, minimizing our working time. And so we've kept it in the shade the whole time. We got the pop-up tent. All right, so it's texture, texture deck, spray day. Um, we'll, I'll kind of go over a few things. Uh, Brian and Mark, they're kind of plastic and stuff off. We're gonna run cardboard down the sides. So the plan is to get, you know, the house, everything. The more you can plastic off when you're spraying, the better. But obviously, you know, if, if we wanted to, to mask the rocks off and stuff, I would do like thick mill plastic and obviously have stuff set on it so if the wind picks up, so I'm gonna blow the plastic up or flip a bunch of stuff onto your pad. Same thing with the, the bark over there. But again, you gotta make sure whatever you put down has something on top so it's not gonna blow onto the pad or do anything like that if the wind picks up. So we're gonna just run cardboard as he shoots. We're gonna do the perimeter and then we're gonna work on the interior. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some lunch. It's dry, again, dries quick. So after, after seeing that two-tone look and how it, how it looks with the house, we're actually, we're not, Brian doesn't wanna do the pigmented sealer. So I was hoping to film that for you guys, get you the tutorial on it. But the cool thing about that is you apply it the same way, you're just pigmenting, you're adding a pigment color to the sealer before you spray it. And so come down here, James, get a shot going up so you can see how it looks with the house. The color just looks phenomenal with the house because if we did our pigmented sealer on this, we would lose that two-tone color look. It would just be all one solid color, which is a great, a great product in itself anyways. But after you know seeing this, like I said, he's thinking that there, it's, just, it's just gonna look better sealing this with just our WB sealer non-pigmented. We had one of the neighbors come by. He wants Brian to go look at a, his his project. I think his back patio. He has kind of the same, starting to flake off and spall. What did that lady ask you? Courtyard. So the lady that just walked by asked to, to for him to go look at her courtyard to do this on her courtyard. So again, cool products cool processes and when you do cool things that look this nice and they, they they obviously live here they obviously seen the driveway how bad it was and so you most likely are going to get people coming by asking questions so make sure you guys have info to give them if they ask you to go look at their stuff do it that day don't wait 
because you want to, you know, you want to be on top of that stuff because if you don't, sometimes you forget and then they might wind up calling another contractor and then you miss out on that. So, so jump on those when they, when they come and ask, ask for you to come look at their projects. All right, so we got first coat down. I'm already walking on it, dries quick, especially sun's out, we got wind, we're ready to do another coat. And that's pretty much typical with the sealer. You know, if it was shaded area, no wind, a little cooler, you might need to wait a little longer. You can always get fans on it. Obviously you wouldn't fan this, but maybe you did a back patio or a front entry and it's taking a little longer to dry. If you have some floor fans, throw them on it, that'll help dry it out. We wanna make sure all the white in the sealer goes away before we do another coat, which it's drying extremely quick. And you can see how it enhanced, just that one coat enhanced all the splatter coat that we did, the texture deck, shooting it. Um, it, was, it was already a darker color, but once the sealer hits it, it makes it even, a, uh, even more darker. So now you can really see that, that decorative look that it leaves. And so that's the process we're gonna do probably three more coats, I would assume. Um, thin, thin like that, just back and forth. And then this is pretty much done. 